Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My very, very intelligent children. How are you? I am so thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us the opportunity to learn seerah. Because if we follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then life becomes simple, easy and enjoyable. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when we follow the people, then people make mistakes and then they regret. But we follow the sunnah of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who was guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance is the best. So whoever follows the sunnah is actually going to become successful in this world and in the hereafter inshallah. Okay my dear children let's start our lesson. رَبِّ شْرَحْ لِي صَدْرِي وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِي وَحْلُ لُقْدَةً مِّن لِسَانِي يَفْقَهُ قَوْلِي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه آمين Now we have learned up till uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's family and Abu Bakr Siddiq radhi Allah ta'ala anhu's family reached Medina Now there were some people who were left in Mecca and Suhaib radhi Allah ta'ala anhu was one of them Right now uh, Quraysh were very alert and they were not letting anyone go and migrate uh, to Medina and take the money with them. So they were not letting Suhaib Radila Talanu take his money with him. So he gave all his money and all the possessions to Quraysh and left for Medina when he reached and he told the Prophet Sallallahu the whole thing. Prophet Sallallahu said that you have done a beneficial trade. That means that you have given everything from this dunya but you have gained the wealth of the deen when you have come to Medina. Now my children, there were a lot of people who were left behind in Mecca who didn't have the means like they didn't have ride or money uh, to reach Medina. So Quraysh were giving them really hard time physically, mentally and economically they were trying to hurt them. And in Medina, Prophet ﷺ was constantly making dua for them until that day came when they were being rescued and they came to Medina and joined the Prophet ﷺ. My dear children, although the Muhajireen, okay, by the way, who are Muhajireen? Those Muslims who migrated from Mecca to Medina. Okay, you have to remember that. So, Muhajireen were so happy to get a place where they can practice Islam freely and peacefully, yet they missed Makkah because of a few reasons. Basically, uh, Muhajireen were traders, businessmen, and Ansar of Medina were farmers. And uh, uh, the other thing is that Muhajireen used to eat meat a lot. But when they came to Medina, uh, Ansar used to eat dates a lot. So they missed their meat as well. And the climate of Medina was different than Makkah. So Mahajirin got sick and they got fever. So they were sad about that as well. And then Prophet ﷺ made a dua, which is really beautiful. I want you to listen to this. Allahumma habbib ilayna al-Madina taka hubbina Makkata aw ashadda wa sahiha wa barik fi sa'iha wa muddiha. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make Medina as dear to us as Makkah was. Or even dearer, make its climate healthy and bless its fruits and grains. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted the Prophet sallallahu dua. The muhajireen regained their health and began to love Medina. As they became engaged in establishing social and emotional ties in Medina, they found the city becoming more and more of a home to them. Alhamdulillah. Now, my dear children, we are going to stop and think what we have learned from today's lesson. Have you heard uh, the saying, no pain, no gain? Hmm? That means that when you want to achieve high goals, then you have to go through hardship and difficulty. Hmm? Because this is the price that we have to pay for success. Just like when you... Uh, want to become a successful person you have to go through school and then college and then universities and you have to memorize and you have to stay awake at night and then go through the exams as well here i would like to add one thing which is really important that we are not going to become anyone's slaves we are going to do business because prophet made the dua of baraka whoever is going to do business 
because if you do business then you will be the owner of your work and your time and can live your life according to your own schedule so pray that we all do successful business in this dunya and do the best business for the hereafter as well okay my dear children let's read the dua quickly uh, allahumma inni as'aluka imanan la yartaddu wa na'iman la yanfadu ameen barakallahu feekum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk